craft it. Craft the whacker. We might need the whacker. Oh shit. Um, can we whack from here? Um, there. Yeah, we whack. We whack that out. Wow. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> we saved our house with our whacker. That doesn't sound good. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to see if we can get ourselves uh, some ore and get some smelting going. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make the furnace. Uh, oh, and I got uh, some talents and tech and all that stuff to do, too. So let's go to the tech. Uh, actually, let's go to the talents first and to go to solo. Uh, what do we got coming up? So we got the very, very quiet option. And we've got the low maintenance decrease oxygen, hunger, and thirst costs. Like that option. Uh, let's go with very, very quiet, though, for now. Okay, so that takes care of that. And then for the tech tree uh, in tier two, uh, we already learned the stone furnace. Um, so we got the fireplace, cooks food swiftly and safely. Um, we've got the brazier. Uh, so we got a rain reservoir, which I don't know. I don't know how useful that's going to be to us since we live right on a lake. Perhaps using this means we don't have the chance of getting a parasite, but the parasites are really not that big a deal. Uh, I think we definitely want the oxide dissolver. Place oxide in appropriate container into the dissolver. Start filling. It requires sulfur for fuel. Uh, a more efficient oxidizer for sauce. Uh, yeah, let's get that. I remember we used that in the multiplayer. It was pretty nice. Uh, I'd like to get an iron knife um, and maybe an iron spear. But I think um, we got the longbow too. Oh, the oxygen bladder. I think we want that to go with the oxidizer thingamadoodle. Leather curtain, window, herbalism, bench, textiles bench. I'm not, I mean, you know, I'm so new to the game, I'm not really sure what the next best thing to get is going to be. So, um, maybe a skinning bench, I guess, or the crop plots. So we can start growing clops or, uh, clops, crops or a cooking station. Uh, flour. That'll allow us to grind wheat into flour. And then assume, I assume uh, that opens up the bread recipe as well. So that's something to think about. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm thinking fully processes animal carcasses for more resources for the scanning bench. Let's get the cooking station, I guess, next. A stone oven and food preparation station. Should we do that first or should we do the crop plot? Or we, we could do a wood cupboard too, this for even better storage. Well, it's 40, has 40 storage slots. Ooh, I kind of like that idea. Yeah, let's get that next. Okay, so that spends all of our points. All right, now, um, I guess we need the crafting bench to make all the other stuff, right? So let's go into here. And what do we need to make a crafting bench? Fiber, wood, stone, and leather. Okay, so let's go over to these little thingamadoodles. Uh, I got lots of fiber, wood... Some stone in there. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm doing this the other way around. <laughs> uh, fiber, wood. And that's fur. And this just has a bunch of fiber in it, too. I probably don't need to save all this fiber. So, okay. So we can make the crafting bench. Let's make... Get that thing going. And then um, we'll be able to start making some of this other stuff. I don't know if we need the oxidizer if we're going to make that other O2 station thing. Which I think we'll probably have to make from the crafting bench. Okay, so how big is this? Oh, it's not too big. It isn't too large. Why don't we put this... Uh, why don't we put it right here? Okay, make sure it's lined up. There we go. All right, so in the crafting bench. Now, this is where we can make the longbow, which we're going to do right now. Boom, baby. Um, we can make the oxide dissolver. Oh, we're going to have to get some more wood. 
Uh, we can make the water skin. Let's make that right now. And um, we're going to need stone and wood to make this. We can also make rope in here and the mortar and pestle, the wood cupboard, and that sort of thing. Okay, so I've got some wood piles out here. Let's go ahead and grab some of those. Maybe a couple of them. And um, let's grab this stone too, because we might, we'll probably need that for the forge. Okay, so yeah, let's make the stone furnace and the oxide dissolver. Oh, and we needed the anvil. Oh, so, okay, so we're going to have to make iron ingots before we can make this. And then I think once we make this, that's when we can make the pick, the iron pick and all that. So the wood cupboard needs, co oh, copper nails. Interesting. Okay. Gotcha. Um, okay, so we've made the oxide thing in a doodle. Uh, oxygen bladder needs bones, which we have in here. So let's make that. We might even want a couple of those. Let's just make one for now and we'll see how it goes. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to put our longbow in here. Is there a way to unload this? Uh, maybe I have to do this first to our unload ammo. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let's just put the wood bow in here. And now we'll have the longbow. So the longbow, 25% projectile damage, one ammo capacity, 300 rate of fire per minute, 700 milliseconds to reload. One ammo capacity. So this is basically 25%. Uh, this does 25% more damage, essentially, which is pretty pretty generous, I'd say. All right, very nice. Longbow, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like it automatically loads our bone arrows. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's grab the furnace next, and we'll grab the furnace and this, and we'll put these guys in our inventory here. Okay, and then so... I don't know, sh should we keep, is this something we should keep outside? Because you'd think it would generate heat and burn down a wooden house. I don't know. I think I, well, the thing is, though, is it will get destroyed by weather. It shouldn't. It's made out of stone. Yeah, let's just put it out here. Okay, so um, it just takes normal stuff here to for fuel. And then, of course, we have to put ores and stuff in there. Okay, gotcha. Now, let's do the oxidizer thingamadoodle. Um, for now, I guess we could put this here. I don't know if being next to that window is going to be a problem for it or not. Okay, so press E to interact. So I think we have to put... Oh, we have to put sulfur in it. Okay. Uh, here we go. So, okay, so we open that up, we put the sulfur in here, and then I guess, I think we put oxide here and containers here. Oh no, containers go there, probably the oxide goes there. Ah, okay. Warning requires fillable vessel to contain, requires, what? Uh, I don't know. All right, so let's go to our inventory. Oh, we don't have any oxide. Okay, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to have to get some oxide. Oh, okay, I see. It puts the bladder in those little slots. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so we could actually make four more of those and then have a bunch of O2 to take with us. Uh, we don't have to do that right now, but um, it's something we can do. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's grab a bunch of those, and we're going to just turn that stuff into a whole bunch of bandages and then throw them out um, just for some XP because, again, I, I really don't think we need that much fiber um now oh, we got a weather event incoming okay um let's put the hammer in here we're gonna go fill up the water skin we need to make some more bone arrows too oh here's some oxide right here okay let's put oh this is gonna be a lightning storm that's wonderful um okay so we put the oxide there there we go Oh, nifty. Okay, I see how that works. 
All right, lightning storm on a wood house. Let's get our whacker thingamadoodle. Where is our whacker thingamadoodle? Uh, don't I? Didn't I make a fire whacker? Fire whacker, fire whacker. Wherefore art thou fire? Oh, you know what? I don't think I have made one. I, I made one on the last um, prospect that we did. So yeah, let's um, let's make one of those. We might lose some trees here, too. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Close the door. Okay, did we make a whacker? Craft it. Craft the whacker. We might need the whacker. Oh, shit. Um, can we whack from here? Um, there. Yeah, we whack, we whack that out. Trying to get up there to get it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, where's that hammer at? <laughs> oh, it's right here. All right. Put that in that slot. Okay. No, don't be hitting my house. Damn it. Okay, that's taken care of. Can I reach that high? Oh wow. This hammer's got some serious reach, baby. Whew, okay. Um, we have one little, one more little lightning section. Hopefully, it leaves us alone. Wow, that was close, man. We could have lost our house. <coughs> this game's totally messing with us now. Okay, it's just about over. No, no. That's all. We don't need any more. Ooh. Okay, are you done? Are you done now? Okay, I think we're good. Wow, okay. That could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> we saved our house with our whacker. That doesn't sound good. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> good lord. Uh, okay, what were we doing? Um, we got some bandages that fell on the floor there. You know what? I went over here earlier before I started the camera, and I dropped a bunch of bandages in this corner. And okay, so they do eventually disappear. Um, so I'm not sure what the point of destroying stuff is. As opposed to just dropping it if you don't want it. Um, so we got a stack of 10 bandages there. That's plenty. We don't need any more than that. Whew. Okay. Um, so now if we just go into the water and drink it, it should fill up our container. Which it did. Okay, look. So we got a water container. Hope that thing doesn't leak. Actually, now that I think about it. Hope it doesn't leak. All right, so we got... Oh, shit! It did zap our thing! Warning, you have lost connection to our servers. You can continue playing while we try to read it. Okay. It did zap our thing! Oh, shit! Okay, I guess we do have to have our forge and our furnace or whatever inside. Damn it, Jim! Okay. Um, let's... Let's grab the... the well, let's actually see if we can get some more ox oxide in there, actually. All right. Uh, can we make another forge? We are short a little bit of stone. All right, let me um, let me get that remade, and I guess we are gonna have to put it inside. I hope it doesn't burn the house down. Maybe it won't. I mean, the fire pit, which is made out of stone, doesn't burn the house down, so maybe this won't either. Okay, let's see if we can make it now. Yes, we can. Okay, so we'll remake. Our furnace, and this time we're going to keep it in indoors. Okay, so let's just keep it, I guess, in this corner for now. Uh, maybe we'll even put it kitty corner. All right, 
so we got that done. <clears throat> we can move this later, right? Yeah, hold to pick up. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so I'd like to put some more oxide in here so we have a full thing of O2. And I guess we've made everything we need to make for the time being. We can't make this until we get the iron ingots. We also need some more bone arrows, too. And doggone it, it's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon and starting to get dark in our little forest area. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's go out and about. We need some more oxide. Uh, we'll do some more hunting. And I want to see if we can find that same cave that we found in um, the live wire scanning thing that we did. Okay, there's some wolves. Does the other wolf just not know his buddy just got nailed? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. You guys were telling me in the comments to use the knife to kill the wolves. Is is the knife actually better than the spear? It seems a little weird. You'd think a spear would be a little bit better weapon for something like that. Oh, well, here, let's try the knife. Oh, it does seem to work pretty good. All right, let's take all of this, get your bones, and we need to take a bandage because we are bleeding. Let's get this dude too, and then we can, uh, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. I want to get this in my hand and skin, and then we'll make some more bone arrows with uh, their giblets. Okay, so let's repair this first, and then let's make 20 bone arrows. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, this does leak. Interesting. Okay, so that does leak. Well, hopefully later on we'll have the option to make ourselves a canteen. Okay, let's grab some oxide for our bladder filler thingamadoodle. And... Uh, see if we can go find that cave, because I, I think this is the same exact map that we did the live wire scanning thing on. Pretty sure it is. We're going to have to put some of this in here, too, for now. Yeah, it's a bummer that the water skin leaks. So I'm sure later on we'll probably be able to make, like, a canteen or something like that. I should have eating some food before we left. We will probably take those uh, those attribute things that cause us to consume less food and water. That seems like a really useful thing to have. Uh, Alright, let's look at the map for a second. I have to wait for it to open up here. I think it was along right along here where we found that cave. So really almost dead ahead. Let's grab these pumpkins whilst we're here. And we'll see if we can find that cave again. Assuming it's still there, you know. Let me look at this again. Yeah, it should be like just right up against this cliff area. And if it is, then we'll grab some more. Okay, so we were, I think, further down this way. This looks very familiar. I think this is it right here. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to have Mr. Worm Spitter Guy. So let's just go in. He's going to spawn, like, right. Uh, he's a little back, a little further. Okay, cut him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Whew, okay, we got him. Uh, weather incoming incoming event, just minor winds. Okay. Let's that should fill our thing back up, right? Uh, yes it does. Alright, so what we're gonna do is 
we're going to drop this so we have a little bit of light and let's start getting some ore so <clears throat> I'm assuming we're gonna need all of it we needed the copper nails for example for to make that cupboard uh, storage container thing oh we're out of stem okay let's ditch uh, well drop I guess doesn't matter some of these sticks, we don't need to be carrying that around with us so much. Uh, that's supposed to be in there. I don't know why it's not. Let's get rid of all but one stack of fiber. And I think we want to hang on to the rest of this stuff. Okay. Now, we do have to watch out for the pneumonia thing. So let's run out. Oh, we got a parasite. Lovely us. Let's run out here for a moment so we're not constantly in the cave, okay? I don't know if that matters or not, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, and then uh, I suppose we could get some coal. We could use this to fuel the forge. Furnace, whatever it's called. Forge, furnace. Not. Oh, nice. We got a level. I'm not sure if this is more efficient than wood or if it's, you know, kind of the same deal. Uh, let's go back out here. And um, so we're not, you know, getting the pneumonia thing. Now we're going to tell... I just, oh, there is a wolf over there. Is he coming this way? Got him. Some more pumpkins, too. All right. Now, uh, what we're going to do is... what? Is, well, what is this? The big three. Increased wood, stone, and fiber yield. Hmm, that would be nice. But I think I want to do the low maintenance. Just so we don't have to eat and get oxygen and all that crap so often. Uh, all right, let's finish up the coal, and then we're going to go for some of the others. Now, I don't know how much of this stuff we actually need. I mean, like, does what does one pile of iron get us in terms of what it smelts? That kind of thing. I'm not really sure. Uh, did we get all the coal? I guess we got enough of it. What is that? Oh, that's the stuff I threw down. Okay, now, uh, let's get some more iron. It seems to me like iron is probably the most important thing to get. We need a bunch of ingots to make the anvil, which I then think we can use to make the pick and all that stuff. So that's, like, the most important thing I want to get right away. Stamina. it. Okay, so we got that. Let's pick up our torch. Um, we have copper here and more iron here. So let's and more coal. So let's drop the torch here. Uh, get this iron. How are we doing on space? Pretty good, but we're getting mighty heavy here. Let's see if we can get the rest of this iron and maybe see if we can nab a little bit of copper. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Uh, we could actually... You know, wood is so damn easy to get. Let's just drop this. Um, there, that made us a little lighter. We can get wood anywhere. But our iron's a little harder to come by. Okay, uh, let's get some copper now. Also, let's run back outside. So we don't get pneumonia. Uh, we are really hungry right now. That's another thing here. I guess we can eat some berries to help alleviate that. Here, consume stack. Probably give us the runs. Okay, let's get this co copper. Maybe we'll, we'll be able to, you know, from this first batch we're getting, it'll be enough for us to go back and get the iron pick made. So the next time we come back here, we don't have to 
keep using this stone tool. Okay, I think that's it for that. So let's pick this up. And we still have a little bit of space left. Is there any other type of ore in here? Oh, there's gold. I think that's gold. Yeah. All right, let's take another drink here. Okay, so here, let me see if I can throw that there. Okay. Yeah, gold ore. Okay. We'll grab a little bit of this, too. We'll just get a little bit of everything, man. We got coal, iron, copper, and gold. Wait for our stamina to come back. Sounds like something's moaning like a ghost or something. Is this a haunted cave? Alright. I don't know if we got all the gold. Oh, there. Uh, right there. There's a piece. Uh, is that a piece too? No, that's iron ore. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We got 50, 66 iron ore. Some copper, a little bit of gold ore, and some coal. And we are pretty heavy, so I think that's all we're going to grab for now. So let's take one more sip of water here, and let's get out of here before we catch a parasite. It's also getting dark. Okay, so let's run back. Connection issue. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's run back to our house here, and we're going to stick this stuff in the forge and see how it does. You know what? I might grab myself a little more oxite too. Let me grab this real quick. And I'll, I'll just meet you guys back at the house. Okay, we are back home. What we're going to do first is we're going to put <clears throat> um, oxide in here. I guess we have to pull it out of our slot. Oh, did we, did we miss a tech? I don't remember that. Okay, so let's put... Uh, control click that into there. Good. It fills up this guy. I don't know if this thing leaks too. Okay, so that's completely full. We'll just have to hang on to it for a little bit and see if it if it leaks. Nice. Okay, let's get something to eat because we are hungry. Uh, so we'll have some meat and some corn and some fish. <clears throat> And some grilled pumpkin, and we have some new pumpkin uh, to put in there, and some new meat. Let's get rid of this uh, rotten stuff. Uh, all right, very good. So, if there's no bladder, does this just stay in here? Hopefully, it doesn't uh, dissipate after a while. I'm gonna say probably not, but we'll 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 keep an eye on it. All right, now, um, let's go to here. We are gonna put all of our coal ore in this. Excuse me, and then we're going to control click our iron in first, then our copper, then our gold, and let's turn this thing on. Okay, there we go. So it's making an ingot, an ingot. Let's see how much, 16. Okay, so it uses two ore per ingot, gotcha. All right, very cool. So we probably don't quite have enough to make the anvil. We might have to go get back and get some more. Because doesn't, doesn't this, yeah, that requires 40. I don't think we'll have quite enough, but that's okay. We can go back to the cave tomorrow and get more stuff. All right, you guys. Well, I think we made pretty good progress today. That's still burned looking up there. Does that mean it still needs to be repaired? No, it says the durability is... Oh, that was weird. Okay. Unless it was... I don't know. Anyway, I really like this hammer. You know, that this hammer <laughs> has as much reach as it does. Um, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to let these ingots cook up. And um, I'm probably going to... 
go to sleep. Let's do that now, actually. Okay, so it's seven o'clock in the morning. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just you know cut some more wood and do some things around uh, the little base here until it gets a little lighter, and then we'll start the next episode. Well, actually, no. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna go back to that cave and get some more iron. Uh, I probably won't take you with me to do that because you've already seen how that works. Um, and so I'll bring you back sometime um, today in the next episode uh, when I have enough stuff to make the anvil and then we'll make some iron tools and then go from there. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have blueprint points. That's right. I put something in the talent, but I didn't do the blueprint points. Can't take me anywhere. All right, what should we do? What should we do? Um, now that we're just about ready to get iron, I think we should do an iron knife. And I don't know, you guys, I guess I'll hold off on the spear. Uh, so we got skinny bench, skinning bench, crop plot, and cooking station. Um, or over this way, we've got flower, lightning rod, curtains, herbalism bench, textiles bench. Okay. Well, um, I think that, see, the fireplace cooks food swiftly and safely. So what's the difference between that and the fire pit? A large stone line pit for swift cooking and heating. Hmm. I don't know. D does this suggest when it says safely that I don't know what that means actually so uh, I think the skinny bench is something we're gonna want I think the crop plot is something we're gonna want and yeah we'll go with those things for now all right now I'm gonna let you guys go thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye